If you know anything about me, you know I love a good bargain. You know I like to source my inventory at my 99 cent days. Lower buy-in costs, it's a little bit safer on the reselling market, especially with how our economy is right now. But recently I did get out of my comfort zone. I went to a chain thrift store that we have here in Texas called Texas Thrift. I know, really original name. And the prices there are definitely a little bit higher, but I wanted to be very selective in what I was finding. This thrift haul is items that I did pay up for. I will let you guys know how much I paid for each piece. And then I will also put the comps for the piece in the corner. And just kind of a reminder, comps are comparables. It's what other people have sold them for. It doesn't necessarily mean that just because someone sold something for $50, I too can sell it for $50. But this is me looking at it through rose colored glasses, through an optimistic lens saying, I paid up for this. Hopefully it will come to fruition and it will all pay off and this is what I will get for it. So let's go ahead and talk about these pieces that I paid up for. These are from two different Texas thrift chains. And obviously because I am paying up for these pieces, I did have to be more selective in the pieces that I was getting. So I think I have less than 20 pieces to show you guys. Up first, we have a Jude Connolly dress. Jude Connolly is a great brand. I don't pay up for every piece, but I thought that this pattern, with it being an animal cheetah printed pattern, it was almost like a neutral. I do know that I personally, in my reselling career lately, have seen a slowdown in animal print, but I think this is a really classic silhouette. I think this really does speak to the Jude Connolly customer. I paid $6.30 for this dress and I have a feeling it's going to sell on eBay. I have a lot of luck with Jude Connolly on eBay. This is also going to fit into the mob wife aesthetic. I don't get that aesthetic, but to each their own. So I definitely do think that this is a really nice contender, a really nice dress. It's also one of those dresses that you could really dress up with a nice pair of heels or you could dress it down with a pair of fashion sneakers and like a denim jacket. So there's a lot of versatility for this dress as well. That is why I felt comfortable paying $6.30 for this. The next piece I think I may have overpaid for, just full transparency. This is J. Crew Factory. And you can tell it's the factory because of those two little diamonds down there. But I've noticed that factory versus regular J. Crew store doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. This is in a size medium and I paid $11 for this cardigan. A cardigan is basically like a sweater and a coat. It's a really nice, fun style. I love this pink color. The style on this, I believe, is called the Sophie Cardigan, and I have sold this exact coat before in a like tan color, and it's done really well, but $11 is truthfully a lot for me, so I am feeling a bit apprehensive with this, but I really liked the color on this. I think that pink is really in for the spring and summertime, and this is just gonna be a really nice pop. I know that it's a cardigan, you're like spring, summer, cardigan, doesn't really go together, but if you work in an office, there's central AC, you get cold sometimes, or sometimes you don't really feel comfortable like showing your arms, so you wanna have something like this where it is a nice higher quality knit that you can just pull on. I know for me, whenever I was teaching and I had my own classroom, I had a cardigan that I would just leave in my classroom, I would take it home every Friday, but that way I never had to worry about being cold. I always had like a backup sweater to just pull on. So this style is definitely one that you could leave at the office. You can always have as like your backup if you want or you can use it as a way to add a pop of color to a more neutral outfit the next piece that we have here is a pair of shoes i actually don't love selling shoes i know that's an unpopular opinion i just think that they take up a lot of storage and i've never done all that great with shoes this is something that i paid eight dollars for these boots really caught my attention i knew that they were quality they have some like intentional distressing on them and then when I looked on the back, I was definitely not surprised to see that these are Sorrel's. Sorrel is a really great shoe brand, especially when we're talking about boots like this. These are in a size eight and a half, so a fantastic size. They're in great shape, great condition. The treads look really nice as well. So I'm very excited to get these listed and I have a feeling that these are going to do really, really well. The next few pieces are all by the same brand. 
one of the texas thrifts in my area they definitely have some sort of deal with a department store nearby or a liquidation company because they have a lot of liquidated inventory often they do price this liquidated inventory to like astronomical means definitely not thrift store pricing so i do have to be very selective on what i pick up but i see a lot of city chic at this thrift store if you guys are unfamiliar with city chic it is a plus size brand i love city chic and part of the reason why i have so many city chic sales is because i find so much of it at this particular thrift store and a lot of it because it is liquidated inventory is new with tags so i did end up leaving probably the majority of these city chic pieces behind but i did try and snag all of the formal dresses that were half off so i ended up paying eight dollars each for these city chic dresses so up first we have the touch of lace dress it's really great that it's new with tag because city chic is great if you have the style name right here you can just search it up and then you can use their stock photo they are not picky about it the city chic tag looks like this this is in a size extra large which is equivalent to a size 22 this is in a fantastic emerald green color it's lace like i said when it comes to city chic i really like to pick up the formal dresses those do really well for me we're talking like they normally sell upwards of 40 dollars even more if i'm willing to wait and with this being a size 22 i think it's gonna do really great again another city chic piece this one is called the maxi entwine and this is in the color navy this is a really great dress it could definitely be worn to a wedding or a formal banquet i think that the pleating on the bodice and the stomach it's very flattering this style i have sold before and it's always done really well it's got crisscross straps in the back as well this is in a size large which is equivalent to a size 20. the next city chic piece is the sassy dress this is the sassy vff dress i have sold this exact dress many of times in many of different colorways anytime i can find a black formal dress though i will say it does exceptionally well it moves really quickly it sells for a decent amount of money so definitely black neutral everyone kind of likes that slimming color so i think that this is going to sell really quickly i haven't noticed that it sells like more on ebay versus poshmark it's a pretty evenly distribution this is in a size medium which is equivalent to a size 18. the next city chic dress is not new with tags it, the tags probably just fell off but i'm going to put it as pre-owned just to be on the safe side this is a really fantastic magenta color i have sold many of city chic dresses in this exact colorway but not this style and every time it's done really well there's some boning on the bodice as well so it is a little bit more structured there's like a peekaboo back and then on the back there's also these really nice little gems so i think that this is just a fantastic dress again those formal dresses are really what i find sell best with city chic the shirts and the more casual dresses they can sell but you're not going to get as much money therefore i wouldn't feel comfortable paying up for them and the last city chic dress is one that i've sold many of times this is called the ripple love dress this is one of the more popular styles this is in a size small which is equivalent to a size 16. this is in a great navy color navy is also kind of like a neutral as well like i said i have sold this exact dress in many of different colors so many times it's nice because you can kind of wear it a little bit off the shoulder so you can show off your collarbones just a very pretty formal dress moving on from city chic the next brand is definitely not one that i always pick up but the material also sold me on this the brand on this is armani collecciones this is a very high-end brand it retails for a lot but the resale on it can be pretty meh this is in a size four and i paid six dollars for this but why i wanted to get this is because it is linen we are going into the summertime people love linen it's a breathable fabric it's a nice fabric and this is also like a nice gray green color so it's very neutral again like we were talking about with the j crew cardigan this is just like a nice little jacket that you can throw on if you are a little bit cold or if you don't want to show off your arms admittedly on the next piece i think i got a little brand blind and i paid too much for this i paid 12 dollars for this dress the brand on this is c new york which can be a very good brand but it's very 
style specific. This is a brand that is sold at places like Shopbop, Revolve, and it retails for like 300 plus dollars. I really like this brand personally, but I don't think this is one of their more popular styles. They're really known for like oversized baby doll bohemian s dresses, and this is not that. This is in a size 6. It's a very nice dress. It's black. It's got a mixture of fabrics. It's like a netted fabric and then also a lace fabric as well. So it is a nice neutral dress. I just don't think that people think see New York whenever they see this dress. Therefore, I do think I might have to sit on this for a little while. It happens to all of us. We do get brand blind sometimes. I definitely think I'm going to sell it for more than $12. It's just a matter of how long is it going to sit around and when you invest a lot of money into a piece obviously you don't want the item to sit around for a while you want it to sell quickly so that you can get your initial investment back the next brand is one that i have sold a few times and it's been very inconsistent for me this is a formal dress it is by the brand baltic born they are mostly known for like bridesmaids formal dresses this is in a size small and i did ultimately decide to pay up for this because i just think it's a very pretty very versatile dress this is in a nice velvet it's navy it is a wrap style and it is also midi to maxi length so i think with all of those style factors coming together it's going to do very well therefore i did feel comfortable paying $12 for this, but I would definitely recommend that you look up specific comps for Baltic Born because I've had some pieces sell for 40 plus really quickly and I've had some pieces that I've had to let go for like 25. The next piece is not one that I think will sell for a lot, but I did pay $4 for this because I do think it will sell quickly. The brand on this is just Bowden. This is the Yellow Dot Bowden, which is not the newest, but it is semi-recent, probably within like the last year, year and a half. This is in a size 8 regular, and it's just a nice blouse. I really like the pattern on this, and so I think this will probably sell for like $25 to $35. I, like I said, I'm hoping for a fast flip so I can very quickly flip that $4, like quadruple it, and then go from there. Next up, I have a Banty. I paid $2 for this, so again, not really paying up. I normally will only pay like 50 cents to a dollar for a Banty, but I thought this one was unique. This is in a size small, and the graphic on this is just 21 Pilots. This is a popular band. It was a few years ago. I don't think it's quite as popular but I know that they still do have a following, therefore I do think it's going to sell quickly, probably for like $15 to $25. And another graphic tee, also in a size small, this is just Selena. I have sold many of Selena shirts before. They do really well in that they sell pretty quickly. They are definitely oversaturated, so you do have to price accordingly, and I don't pick up every single Selena, I just pick it up if I like the graphic. And the last piece I have is a pair of aloe joggers. These are definitely an older pair of joggers, but they're a really nice style. I do need to wash them because there is just like a sweat odor to them, I'll say. And that that's just, I think, from being in the athletic department, I've noticed that basically that entire row, just there's just a gross odor there. So I don't necessarily think it's these joggers. I think it's just the co-mingling with others potentially sweaty clothes that people didn't wash before donating. I know that's gross to think about, but that's the reality of it. So I definitely do need to wash these, but overall I think these are a really cool style despite them being an older style. So that is everything that I paid up for. If you are interested in anything by the time that you're seeing this, it will all be listed in my Poshmark closet so you can go over there and shop. Feel free to send me a reasonable offer. And if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yesterday was Peanut's third birthday. So everyone make sure you wish Peanut a happy belated birthday. I cannot believe that this little man is three. I cannot believe it. We've had him since he was a puppy. No, he's already three.